Hey, welcome back friends. If you want to join the friends, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. So today we're going to be going over the second to last skill that we're going to be considering training during Double Experience Weekend, and that's going to be Fletching. Now, the reason why Fletching is the second to last skill is because, honestly, it's one of those skills that if you have a lot of money, train it a really fast way because you have the money to burn. But if you want to do it just slowly over time, you can train it by just fletching uh, the long bows or uh, stringing them. There's very, very cheap, if not profitable, ways of actually training up this skill. So why are we doing this during Double Experience Weekend? That's because there's some very fast experience that you can gain if you're willing to spend some money. Uh, the three methods I'm going to be explaining are going to be Dragon Dart Tips, Ascension Shards, and Broad Arrowheads. Uh, all three of these are going to give you pretty fast experience and going to honestly not cost too much for how much time you're going to be saving by doing them. And if you're doing them on a double experience weekend, it's half the cost and double the speed. So all better. So first thing I want to go over is going to be the fastest way of training up fletching. It's going to be with Dragon Dart Tips. Now you'll see here in a second that you get extremely good XP drops. It's 250 XP for every 10 darts that you craft. So that means you're getting like 2,500 experience extremely quickly. Or on double experience, it's going to be 5,000 experience within a couple seconds, honestly. Uh, but it does come at a pretty high cost. The dragon dart tips do cost a decent amount of money, and feathers even cost about 100 GP a piece nowadays. So keep that in mind, you're going to be paying about 23 GP per XP for this, or during Double Experience Weekend, about 12 GP per XP. Another thing to take into consideration, Dragon Dart Tips do cost a lot of money, so during Double Experience Weekend, you are going to be investing a lot of money into those Dragon Dart Tips, which is going to be something that you can't invest into other places. So it might be worthwhile doing one of the other methods, but as you can see by my XP drops, I even have bonus experience right now, so you can see the actual experience that you're going to be getting from Double Experience Weekend. It's going to be absolutely insane. Uh, you're going to be getting 1,375,000 or 1, XP per hour on the usual everyday time. So during Double Experience Weekend, you can make up to 2.7 million XP per hour just by clicking on a Dragon Dart Tip and then hitting the space bar. Uh, you do obviously have to keep a decent amount of concentration to get those experience rates because you want to try to miss as little ticks as possible because every single tick is going to be a, um, a possible fletch. So you're going to want to click it right as the 10 pops up, and you should only miss one tick while you're going over that interface. And apparently I get the flow pet while doing this for you guys. So I haven't trained fletching in almost ever, and I get a flow pet. Wonderful! Uh, that's going to make this video awesome. Okay, so the second method that I wanted to show you guys is going to be broad arrowheads. Now, oh, forgot to mention the XP or the requirement for Dragon Dart Tips. It's going to be 95 fletching you need. Now, Broad Arrows, the reason why I want to mention them is because it only requires 52 fletching to actually make these. Uh, <clears throat> during the next two methods, you are going to want to use broad, or use the Portable Fletcher because for Broads as well as Ascension Shards, uh, it does save you 10% of the time. You'll save some of the resources. I believe it saves the headless arrows as well as the broad arrowheads. So you'll be saving quite a bit of resources if you're going to be using a portable Fletcher as well as getting an extra 10% experience on top of all the experience that you're already getting. Now with no bonuses at all, broad arrows are going to be 540,000 experience per hour at a cost of only 10 GP per XP. So during double experience weekend, you're only paying 5 GP per XP for over a million XP per hour. Not bad at all. Uh, and one other added little benefit to this is that during making broad arrowheads, what you invest is how much you're going to be paying for it. The broad arrows are not tradable. Uh, you can disassemble them for, I believe, crafted components, the reason why you want to disassemble them. Otherwise, they just kind of sit in your bank. But... 
you can disassemble them, but you don't trade them. They are untradeable. So basically what you're investing, you know what you're investing getting into it. Uh, so it's going to be a lot littler investment than the Dragon Dart. So that's a big pro to it. Obviously, con is it's going to be a decent amount slower uh, and still costs about 10 GP per XP. Now, if you're buying the broad arrowheads yourself, you can make a or you can do this for a little bit cheaper, like eight to nine GP per XP. But honestly, that's not worthwhile running around to all those Slayer mo masters unless you're already planning on doing it. So, basically, just buy them off the GE. It's not bad at all. And as you can see from this portable Fletcher here, I actually made an extra hundred broad arrows, so not bad at all. The last one that I want to mention is going to be the Ascension Bolts. Uh, hopefully I can get to those. It's going to be Tip Bolt, I believe. Uh, and again, use a portable Fletcher. It's going to be a very fast method of training up Fletching at 432 XP per hour. Or during double experience weekend, about 900,000 XP per hour at a cost of 8.4 GP per XP or 4.2 during double experience weekend. You guys are kind of getting trend here. Half the XP per hour and double the XP rate. Sorry, half of the GP per XP and double the XP rate. That's how double experience work weekend works. Now, this is kind of like an in-betweener for the Dragon Darts and the Broad Arrows. Uh, honestly, the Broad Arrows are going to be the cheapest way, I'm going to say, to do this, just because you're not investing a lot of money. Uh, the Ascension Shards actually don't cost too much. They're only like 250 or so per, <clears throat> per Ascension Shard. And you do sell the Ascension Bolts for about 100 GP a piece. Uh, hopefully they don't drop too much during the Double Experience Weekend. But you still do get a decent return on your investment, but you are going to have to sell them during Double Experience Weekend if you want to use your money for something else as well. So that is one thing to take into account, the fact that you are going to have to sell them at a lower cost than you actually are expecting to sell them if you're trying to do it during Double Experience Weekend. As with all my other guides, I recommend you try to save any resources that you know a lot of other people are also using. Try to save the resources for a week or two later, that way you can get as much money as possible back. Obviously, if you need the money to train something else during Double Experience Weekend, go ahead and sell it off. That's You're just going to have to take that bullet. But it's not going to be horrible, I guess. Uh, and honestly, with that... GP per XP. It's only like 4 GP per XP, which is pretty substantial from the broad arrows, which are 5 GP per XP. About 25% discount there. But all in all, not a bad method either. And if you're planning on training fletching, you probably want to be using one of these three methods during Double Experience Weekend instead of fletching or stringing any bows. Uh, one added little benefit that I didn't think I was going to have on this video though. Uh, let's go ahead and inspect the flow pet and try to get it into our interface here. Sorry if this is a little bit sloppy. I had the rest of it planned out and now I have to open up a pet interface and hopefully find the flow pet. Oh cool, I only have three of them. Uh, so go ahead and call that pet. So there we go. Got the flow pet while just trying to make a video for you guys. Nice little extra bonus there. Uh, honestly, it doesn't look too bad. It has the little particle effect that makes it actually worth doing and it's just like a nice little feather for fletching so hopefully you guys get that during double experience weekend and you get the same kind of luck i did this is the first time fletching at all since these pets came out and i get it that fast uh and hopefully you guys all enjoy that video if you do hit the subscribe button down below so you can see the rest of my videos and leave a like that way i know that you like it and I would also love it if you leave a comment saying if you're planning on training with any of these three methods during Double Experience Weekend. And as always, have a good one.